Alright guys, um, got a new tutorial, or at least a series of tutorials. Um, I've been painting this miniature, this is the this is Perdita from um, Weird Miniatures for the game Malifaux. Um, I decided to do some paint this weekend so I thought I might as well record the whole thing of me um, painting her and you know see what I can make out of it. So as you can see I've sped it up slightly. Um, otherwise this would take about an hour this segment and this is just painting the skin um, so as you can see if you saw before um, I thinned my paint but I thinned it a bit too much so I had to go back and do some more um, thicken it up a bit I'm using Valero paints this is dwarf skin I believe um, and I thinned it with um, Valero's own thinner um, this time rather than flow and prune water just to see what would happen um, tricky thing about skin or at least I'm finding with this particular skin is the um, I had to do several several layers now from the camera it looks like it's pretty much well covered but um, it's actually really patchy in real life so although it looks like I'm, I'm going over and nothing's really changing um, trust me it is um, so the idea here is to get a nice uniform colour and um, skin tone um, before doing a wash of Ogwin flesh and then going back and then highlighting up with the, the same colour, the dwarf skin and then going up the skin tones um, if you um, if you have any uh, comments on how you do skin that would be a uh, really nice if you've got any um, tips for anyone else on your method of paint skin and um, this is pretty much the way I do skin most of the time you know um, obviously with slight differences depending on uh, what kind of color skin I'm going for but this is pretty much my default so I start with dwarf skin wash it with ogrin flesh go back with dwarf skin and then go up and the next color I think is elf skin tone and then finally pale flesh and if I really want to push the highlights I'll go to off-white as well I don't think I do that on this so I'm still painting the uh, the first coat I know it looks like I'm already done but it, it was really sort of um, chalky in places and it's really important to get a smooth coat before I do anything um, else otherwise uh, a chalky coat now will just you know cause all sorts of problems down the line I also miss a few uh, spots like um, her left arm didn't realize I could see it I go back and and uh, paint that in a bit I believe um so yeah I bought uh, these these miniatures this was a a starter set for the game Malifaux which some um, people down in my local hobby store like to play so I bought one of them um, the starter box sets and it came with five miniatures and they're all like cowboys and cowgirls kind of kind of thing going on and um, this is their leader of the of the crew um, Padita, it's a, a cracking uh, looking miniature um, and the reason I decided to paint her first is because I saw this brilliant um, cool mini or not version of it uh, where the colour scheme was a lot is quite a bit more realistic less sort of um, caricature and cartoony that um, bright like um, the studios uh, version of this miniature is the studio miniature is a bit um it's got a like a, a pinky red top and you know light brown leather and that kind of thing but it's quite bright i wanted to go for a more sort of dark um realistic look so i was going for like a you know jeans dark jeans and a, a dark colored top but the thing about the miniature that i saw on call me or not that was i thought was really awesome and i wanted to give it a go is that her top was painted to be slightly transparent now uh, that results in her, you know, you being able to see her breasts, and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a go. So at some point, that, that's what the next video I think is gonna be about. Is painting her top. Um, <clears throat> so I've actually already done several hours of painting already. So this is me just going back and recording the voiceover. So um, it does work out. Looks really cool. So stay tuned. <laughs> And I'm still still painting the uh, there's the arm. See, I missed that bit, so I've had to go back and basically do several layers. Now, the great thing about painting with thinned paint 
Now, this is paint that's thinned at least one to one. It's probably one to two with thinner. And is that you load up the brush, but you don't you don't shove your whole brush in. You just get the tip in into the paint. Now, that's still going to pick up far too much paint. You've got to wipe it off, put it onto a paper towel. And then when you start to paint on, it, it will be chalky. It will be chalky and translucent and, and it will patchy. But the trick is, is just paint strokes and move on, paint another stroke somewhere else and just keep going around. And within because it's so thin, it actually dries really quickly. So by the time you've done one stroke and waited a couple of seconds, that's already dried. And you just, without loading up the paint again, it's still enough paint in the brush, believe me. You just keep going back and forth and you sort of build up the, um, the coverage. And another tip, I don't know, it's quite hard to pick out with the speed of this video, is that I've been crisscrossing. So sometimes I've been going vertically with these brush strokes and in the next layer I'm going horizontally and that really helps in getting a nice smooth um, matte finish and it you know, really helps. Um, I think I'm nearly done with this. Um, I'm sorry about for the, yeah, I think I am, I've, I've changed now. Oh no, wait, going back to do some more touch-ups. Um, Sorry about the the sort of uh, brightness of this camera. I think I sort that out in the next uh, video. Um, I was manually setting the exposure because I didn't want the camera to be constantly changing color, and um, so I set the exposure to what I want, but I accidentally uh, moved it one stop too um, high on this one. Ah, here we go. So here's the uh, Ogden flesh wash, I think. Um, I think this works really well for skin and uh, I really wanted to darken this up so what I did after applying it I think I let it dry and then I uh, applied it again in, in certain places um, especially between the breasts and around the neck um, because I really wanted that to be quite dark you know so it would help me later on um, Yeah, so what else? Um, no, we'll just have to see. There we go, see it's gone a lot darker there, which is uh, exactly what I wanted. Now I'm trying to basically darken up a belly button there, but it's such a tiny, tiny minute detail, it's really not deep enough to really catch the wash, so I ended up having a go and gave up and just decided to liberally apply the wash again and really darken the skin. That's the, um, I think it works really well. Dwarf skin it's quite dark when you compare it to these other skin tones but actually it is quite bright and you really want to darken it quite a lot because you want this to be your shadow color so there we go that's after it's dried again now i'm applying the same skin tone i was applying last time you see how bright it is compared to that um this is the exact same color i was applying the first time around but it just it seems to be a lot brighter now because you're painting it on this dark base um, brushes. I'm using my Da Vinci um, Klinsky Sable Series 10 uh, brushes. Um, I sometimes I alternate. Basically, I've got two sizes. I've got a zero size. Uh, sorry, a size one and a. This I think I've got a size uh, double zero or zero. Basically, I've only got the the two brushes for this, and I've also got a sort of um, a synthetic brush for just doing general base colors. Uh, you'll see me use that in a bit, uh, along with a really, really, really nasty messed up brush that what I um, I use. It's kind of it looks like a dry brush basically, but I actually use it to um, clean my airbrush, clean the color, um, the color cup in it, and for mixing paints. So there's a tip if you ever went on your palette when you're mixing paints. Um, don't use these brushes just don't just get a really nasty old brush and that way you can dip it right in stir it you know it doesn't really matter you can get a good nice mixture without ruining any of your decent brushes so that's what i've been using it for but I actually use it to do some dry brushing at some point join us as well um so yeah i'm just going around just picking out uh or as best i can the sort of areas i want to highlight back up and um it's actually looking really nice just as it is at the moment. Um, after I've done this highlight, I move up to Elf Skin Tone, which is kind of yellowy. It 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 does look very yellow, and it, and it, it 
I was always a bit hesitant to use it because it just seemed a bit too like yellow and bright. It, it didn't seem to suit these colours, but it, it worked in the end, especially when I went the highlight above it, which is the um, pale flesh, sort of brings it back to the sort of pinky colour rather than being um, yellow. But it does work. Those three work quite well together, especially with Ogren flesh, as you can probably tell. Now uh, the face. The face is a really tricky one on this. Is actually I actually ruin sort of make a mistake on the face, and I'm trying to correct it, and I end up actually completely repainting it um, uh, later. I didn't don't think I recorded that. So basically, there's a, a there's going to be a point where I just screw it up because I try and use a um, a flesh wash from Valero that I'd not used before and it really wasn't the same colour as the uh, it just it made the the face and neck look completely different skin tone so I had to repaint it but I decided to do it off camera because it's so fiddly to get under there because of a hat um, it's quite tricky but then on the plus side if you you know if you're trying to be realistic stuff it means you don't really have to highlight that much underneath a hat because it's all in shadow really but you kind of still have to else her face will just look flat um, I end up I don't paint the eyes I still haven't painted the eyes for it yet and I'm really not sure what to do there because I'm thinking it's so it's literally her eyes are just under the, the her hat and I'm thinking maybe just putting a bad black wash up there or something and just making it so that you know it's dark and shadowy and it implies that her eyes are there without actually painting them because I really don't think it's necessary but I haven't decided on that yet I haven't got to that bit Um. So yeah, this took quite a while. This was an hour's worth of work just to do the skin. And I know um, some people like to save skin last and, and things like that in case they, you know, if I've painted the skin here and I move on to other areas, people worry that, you know, you might make a mistake and paint over your skin. But generally, I just wanted to get this bit done because it helps because when I paint, I need to paint the top next. I need the skin to be shaded there so I know how best to shade the top as well. Um, because it's going to be transparent that's why I decided to do the skin first and plus because it's it's the most recessed part of the model um, it sort of uh, to me makes sense to do it and because it means that everything above it is slightly higher and so it's less likely I'm going to accidentally you know if I'm brushing accidentally come off and hit the skin because there is that kind of that nice little gap so if I ever do brush and it just sort of the brush tip comes off it's less likely to touch the skin basically and because I'm not shoving the brush in really or overloading my paint I'm really just using a tip as you can see here and um, it works quite well so this I think I've moved up to the the, the highest highlight this is the elf uh, pale flesh so I'm literally just doing it in choice places trying to really uh, brighten up and paint the sort of details in because the details are there they're just very subtle so you really have to exaggerate them and that's the whole point I'm tr trying to really exaggerate and I think for the, this is me really struggling with the uh, to get the face right I'm actually going back and forth changing um, colors back to the previous colors I'm using because um, I've all got them on this palette Um it really didn't go very well so uh, I redid it and it, it looks much better <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I'd like to know what you guys think as well about this kind of format of video because it's it's easy for me to do because it means that I'm not talking whilst I'm painting. I can just sit there. Um, I've got the camera in front of me and I'm recording the whole thing um, with no audio on, so I can still talk to the people in my house because because I'm living in a shared house at the moment. I can't really guarantee that I'm going to have the time to just sit there and record without any interruption so it made sense to do this so um, if you like it and you, then that's great but if you don't or if you have any um, uh, advice for future ones of this bear in mind I've got about four or five more of these videos to do that I've already recorded and done but obviously afterwards I'll take any advice uh, I can get really but this is probably the best I can really do for um, a tutorial video let's record it and do an, an, a voice um, voiceover and plus it means I can record the whole thing and just speed it up so this is going at four times the speed um, so we're approaching the end of this video soon 
Um, you can see I've re just repainted the face there, I think. Uh, or I, I can't remember. I either paused the video um, and redid the face after failing a uh, the wash. And I think I go back and touch it up. In any case, the skin's pretty much done. So you'll see it in the next video what it finally looks like. Um, and you'll see that in a couple of other videos as well. I sort of um, I pause the recording, um, do a, a few things that it's really tricky to do in front of the uh, the webcam. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Um, stay tuned for the next one where we paint the top. Cheers.